Hey everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a weekend reading vlog because my roommate is gone and I don't have that much going on this weekend so I figured it would be a great time to do a reading vlog. I'm like kinda sick so if I sound really bad that would be why my throat is kinda killing me right now but we're just gonna ignore it. I've ignored it all week, we're just gonna keep ignoring it. <laughs> But, yeah, so it's 7.42 in the morning, and the only thing I have going on today is I have a class at 11.40. Um, it's my math class, which sucks, and it's really dumb, but I gotta go to it anyways. Um, and then I'm taking my friend on, like, a campus tour because she doesn't live on campus, and so, therefore, doesn't know where anything is. So, I'm gonna take her around for that and that's like all I have going on today so it's great um so right now I'm in the middle of reading Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor I'm like 200 pages in and it is so good I am in love um so I'm hoping to finish that for sure this weekend um I do have a tiny bit of homework to do I have to read to like two poems in this book of the the seagull reader this poems book for my english class so i do have to read two poems for that um and then i have to make sure that i print out a thing for my english class but other than that i don't have any homework this weekend which is fantastic because this week was super stressful because i had two tests and a paper due but we're done with that so I'm going to go make pancakes because I'm hungry. Um, and then, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, either I'll probably get to reading. So, follow me along this weekend. So that's good. And I don't have to do anything with it, like, right now. Um, because we're going to talk about it in class on Monday. So, I'm going to read quick. So I just read um, Lady Lazarus by Sylvia Plath. The last line is, the last stanza is, Out of the ash I rise with my red hair and I eat men like air. Whoa. That's, that's an ending for sure. Um, okay. Cool. That didn't take me long, like I said. So now I'm going to go read Muse of Nightmares. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my book here. Um, 
I am, like I said, I'm like 200 pages in, which is really exciting. I'm 222 pages in, so it's good. I'm like almost halfway done. Um, and if you don't know, Muse of Nightmares is the sequel to Strange the Dreamer, um, and it is so amazing. I love it so much. Also, Thion Nero, he reminds me so much of Kuzco from An Emperor's New Groove, where he's just, like, so used to being, like, waited upon and stuff that, like, it doesn't make any sense to him why people, like, aren't respecting him or, like, aren't doing things for him. He just has very different look up, outlook on the world, which I think is so funny. Like... It's like, it's ridiculous, but like, I don't mind it right now. Like, it's kind of like roll your eyes ridiculous, but like, I'm not mad at him for being that way because that's kind of how he was raised, was to have be waited on, um, and he just doesn't know anything different. So I'm hoping he'll like continue to change as the book goes on. But yeah, I'm gonna get to reading. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> now and I am 314 pages into straight into I almost said strange the dream muse of nightmares it's so good guys things are coming together it's oh it's phenomenal but I'm gonna take a quick break um because I have like half an hour ish before I have to like even start getting ready for class and so I'm going to be sorting some stars so I'm gonna show you what that means so stars so Something that my friends started showing me how to do is make these paper stars. Um, we were, I think it was sophomore and junior year of high school, or maybe junior, senior year, I don't even remember. Um, but she learned how to make these paper stars and then taught all of our friends and um, we started making stars. So you take a strip of paper and you fold it into the star. I'll show you how to do it later because um, I have some strips cut up still but it started being a thing to just kind of help like when you're bored in class and stuff and so I have a bajillion of these paper stars from school from high school um, like I haven't sorted those these are like all multicolored ones and then I have some colors stored here so I'm considering starting um some sort of like business where I sell them in star jars which I will also show you later um but for right now I just wanted to like sort these and get these out of just these like huge bags of stars that I have them in so I'm gonna listen to Newsies because Newsies is great and sort some stars <laughs> So it's like 11.07 right now, so my class starts at 11.40. I'm going to head out now because I need to go print something off and because I like to be really early. Plus it's like on the other side of campus, which doesn't take that long to walk across, but I like to be early. So I'm going to head out for class, um, and then I'm going to get lunch, and then I'm meeting my friend to show her around campus. So I probably won't be back in my room till like 2 o'clock, which is fine. Um... So if I get there 
if I get to class early, which I probably will, I'll pull out Muse of Nightmares again and keep reading. And yeah, that's my plan for the next couple of hours. <laughs> So I'm back in my room. It's 2.30 and I haven't read any more of Muse of Nightmares. So I'm still 314 pages in. Um, yeah, did you like my very healthy lunch of a ham and cheese sandwich and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Mountain Dew? Gotta be healthy, y'all. <laughs> um, anyways, I have nothing else to do today. So, I'm going to read... And when I feel like I need a break, I have some booktube videos to watch. So, it's great. That's like the rest of my day is literally all reading and booktube watching, which is fantastic. So, I'm going to get back to reading. I just, I am so loving this book, guys. I, it's so good. It's also like looking blue. It's one of those like weird purple books that doesn't show up very well on camera, but that's okay. I'm going to get you reading. Holy crap, I'm in the middle of a battle, and like, ha, uh, I'm on page 372, ha, uh, what, it's, ha, uh, things are happening, I'm dying, this book is so good. <laughs> Gotta keep reading, man. Gotta keep reading. Gotta know what's going on here. Well, I like mine. This is the first because I don't like to chew on it. I like to just swallow it. Swallow yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Our fire alarm just went off. It's too cold outside for this kind of stuff. My fingers are cold. Fun times. The, the things that happen while living in the dorms. Okay. I'm gonna get back to reading because it's so intense, guys. I have to know what happens. I just finished Muse of Nightmares. Oh my goodness. That was so good. The ending. Oh, like the very last thing that I talked about. Oh my word. Made my heart happy. I can't. I. Uh, uh, this was amazing. 10 out of 10. Totally gonna reread this at some point. I finished. I'm so happy. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to try and puzzle out what these things say. So, here, I'll show you. Because it's not actually spoilers if I just show you this. Um, so there's these, like, messages that are hidden. So there's one right here, and there's one in the very beginning of the book, too. Um, but it's a different language, so it looks like that. And then, um, 
I don't know, this is probably some sort of clue. So on the page where it ends, like the last page of the book, I'm not going to show you because spoilers, obviously, but there's a little key that I think will help you discern what the messages say. So I think I'm going to sit down and try and figure this out. I don't think it'll take too long because I'll just have to flip back and forth, but yeah. Also, I have my own secret language. Not my own, but a secret language, which is pretty cool. I just had an idea. So I'm going to give these to my friend Molly to let her borrow and read them because she really wants to read them because she read Strange the Dreamer sometime last year. Or maybe it was earlier this year. I don't remember. Um, but she really loved it as well. So I told her I would let her borrow Music Nightmares. I'm going to write her a note in this language. That's going to be so much fun. Okay, that'll be something that I do for sure. Um, so... I actually, I need to wash my dishes too, so I think I'm going to take a break. I've been reading on and off for the past couple of hours, so I'm going to take a break and do some chores, probably watch some booktube, um, and figure out this cool language, and I, yeah, oh, it was so good. It was amazing, and it was such a good expansion to the world of Strange the Dreamer, like, that's something I'm finding that I'm noticing a lot more as I'm reading a series of books is that, like, the second book always expands the world, which is good. Like, it's supposed to do that. But sometimes it does it well and sometimes it doesn't, and this was so well done. I really, really enjoyed it. And I liked how there was, there's, like, a sci-fi aspect to it, but it doesn't ever get to be, like, too much. Like, it makes total sense in the world, and it's just so cool love it and I'm gonna have a book hang I'm gonna definitely gonna have a book hangover after this like I don't know how I'm supposed to read anything else now um but yeah I'm gonna take a break and I'll catch you guys later hey y'all if you've never heard Jeremy Jordan sing please go look him up he is phenomenal um especially his performance at Elsie Fest this year holy crap Jeremy Jordan his vocals. I, I will never, ever be over how good Jeremy Jordan can sing. You guys, I don't know if anybody watches Supergirl, but he played Wynn on Supergirl. But he is more originally from Broadway and has done quite a few shows with Broadway. He originated Jack Kelly in Newsies on Broadway. But his vocals, oh my god. Gosh, he is amazing. Please go listen to him. You will not be disappointed. He's so good. Oh my word. I just had to say that. It's like 10 after 6 and I think I'm going to go make some dinner. Um, I think I'm just going to warm up some taco meat um, and have that with some chips and call it good. And I'm still in my book hangover. I like don't want to read anything right now. Because I'm just, like, dying from how good Muse of Nightmares was. Um, I didn't end up translating the thing yet, so maybe I'll do that too. But I'm going to watch some booktube while I eat. And, I mean, it's only 6 o'clock. Like, I still have all night and all day tomorrow. Oh! I didn't talk about what I'm doing tomorrow. So, there's a Harry Potter event that's happening tomorrow at a coffee shop, a restaurant... It's some sort of restaurant. I don't actually know what it is. But me and my friend Abby are going to go visit at like 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I'm really excited. I have no idea what it's going to be like. They don't really have a lot of information online. So we don't know what's going to happen. But I'm excited about it. It'll be really fun. Um, so yeah, you'll get to see that hopefully. So that's my plan for tomorrow. And then Sunday, like I just have church in the morning. And then like football day. So possibly reading I don't know we'll see how it goes uh yeah so that's that's what's up hi everybody so I am watching an episode of the hundred I'm re-watching an episode of the hundred um and I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you how I make stars so you just have a strip of paper that mine are really uneven because I cut them with scissors and I can't cut in a straight line to save my life um but if you use a paper cutter it's usually much easier so you make a little breast cancer ribbon and then you like fold it I don't I don't know how to explain it and then you flatten it so it looks like this and then you 
fold that in. And then you just fold on the edges. Like so. And so then I have like a tiny bit of extra. So you tuck that into what you already folded. This is hard showing this this way. So then I just um, pull off this little tail here. And then, this is the hardest part, is inflating it. So you just kind of dig your nail in and like push it up. So you do that to all of the sides. And then you have a star. So this is a star jar. Um, so yeah, it's literally just a jar full of stars. My friend Kat made this for me and so she put a Deathly Hallows symbol on it and then put my name with a little snitch on it that she drew because she's artsy like that and has like sparkles in it too. Um, so yeah, I'm playing around with the idea of making these to sell. Um, I'm not sure what exactly it would look like but I'm kind of thinking about it, playing around with the idea. Um, plus it's like just a really easy thing for me to do, um, like making the stars is really easy for me to do. So, yeah, that's a star jar. Those are stars. It's pretty amazing. Um, except, yeah, I have so many of them because me and my friends will just like spend time making them all throughout school. So, yeah. Alrighty, so it is now 8.41 and I have showered and I'm like basically ready for bed, but that mostly means I'm ready to read. So I'm going to continue reading A Chance for Rain by Trisha Downing. So, oh sorry, this is just, it's just Chance for Rain by Trisha Downing. I got sent this for review by the author, so thank you again for, to Trisha for sending it to me. I started reading it the day that Muse of Nightmares was going to come, so I didn't get very far. So, basically, I got 24 pages in. So. I'm going to continue reading this. I don't know much about it other than um, there's online dating and the main character is paralyzed from the waist down. She had a injury and so she can't move. So we're just like, I remember there was backstory stuff happening um, in the early parts of this. So I'm going to read this. I don't really have high expectations for this, honestly, just because, like, it's about online dating and finding love as an adult, and so I am, well, I guess I am technically an adult, but I don't think online dating is a great idea, so there's that, but I need to read it and review it, so that's what I'm gonna do, um, and yeah, we're, we're just gonna read. <music> So I'm like 90, how many pages? 96 pages into A Chance for Rain. It's 10.30, so I'm going to kind of head to bed. Like, I'm going to get in bed and play on my phone for a while. But I'm done reading for today. Um, it's like, this is an interesting book. It's not something that I normally read, like, ever. So it's different, and I'm still, like, getting used to, like, all the stuff. Just because, like... The main character is 32 and online dating and neither of those things I can relate to at all. So it's different, but it's not bad. So yeah, gonna keep reading tomorrow, but this is all for today. So I will say goodnight and see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So it is 9.47. I slept in pretty late actually. Well, late for me anyways. And so I didn't get to read a ton of Transfer Rain, but I did read a little bit more. So I'm now on page 109 and I'm heading out to the Harry Potter thing pretty quickly here. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. And I can't
I'm going to find out what it looks like too. Cool. Okay, quick change of plans. We're actually going to take a friend out to her house. So, Harry Potter thing will be later. what all happened because I didn't vlog very much of it so me and my friend Abby were gonna go to the Harry Potter thing at this um, like gelato place and then our friend Lauren called and was like hey can you guys drive me to basically to meet up with her brother to go watch her other brothers cross-country like race and so we drove Lauren an hour away to go to that so that was fun and then we went to the gelato place which was super fun we didn't spend very much time there they basically were just like had a couple decorations so they had like the banner the house banners they had the if you've ever seen they have like just empty hangers and it says invisibility cloaks and then they had like a line of socks and it said free dobby and all this stuff and so then we got gelato and it was delicious I loved it and then we just kind of explored um, and so that was like the water and stuff that you saw and then we went to a bookstore and it was so pretty and I loved it I would love to work there someday it was just so like beautiful um, and then we came back and we watched an episode of Stranger Things because Abby still hasn't seen it all of season two yet so we watched that and then now I'm back in my room and my roommate, one of my roommates is sleeping and one of the other ones is um, studying I think. So I'm just going to kind of read and watch YouTube and chill um, for the rest of the day. So I might hang out with Abby again later, might not, I don't know yet, but yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so it's like quarter to seven right now so it's been a while since I last updated you guys I took my hair out of my braid and so it's like awkwardly curly for a tiny bit slash like frizzy and then it's straight because I had it half up half down anyways um the badger game is on so I am watching that but I am on page 236 of chance for rain and honestly I'm not loving it I think it's just not my cup of tea honestly it's just I don't know why I said yes to the author. I feel bad because the author personalized it and like she sent it to me and everything. But it's just not my kind of book. So I kind of feel bad for even like taking it. But it's just the, the main character is kind of annoying. And I don't know. You'll see in a review coming up because I'm going to try and finish this um, tonight maybe or by tomorrow so I can film my review for it to get it done um, but it's just not something that I'm super enjoying so anyways I ha still have like a hundred pages to go it's like 350, 350 pages so I still have a little over a hundred pages to go but Badger Game is on so I'm gonna go watch that and then I don't really know what else I'm gonna do but that's that's where I'm at right now sorry my life is like pretty boring I, this is basically what I do all the time. Hi everybody, so it's 10.40, so I need to go to bed. But I finished Chance for Rain, and I'll be honest, I didn't love it. 
it's just not the book for me, I think. But you'll hear more thoughts in my review, so stay tuned for that if you want to hear more of my in-depth thoughts. But yeah, I just didn't love it. I feel like my main problem was the main character is very hypocritical, and it was just very annoying. But I finished. I can do my review. So I did it. You know, it happened. Um, so the book I'm going to read next, I'll go and grab. So I'm going to be reading Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie next. I've been meaning to read this for a little while. This is my friend Kat's copy of the book. Um, so she lent it to me, so thank you Kat. Um, but I really wanted to read it before the movie came out, but then I just never did. And I read my first Agatha Christie book this summer. I read and then there were none. And it was really interesting. I don't normally read mystery. That was like the first mystery book I've ever read. But it was really good, and I definitely did not guess the killer. And I don't know much about this other than there's a bunch of characters on the train and somebody gets killed, so there's murder on the Orient Express. Doi. Um, but I really, really, really want to see the movie, so I'm going to read this. But we're going to start this tomorrow because it's kind of late and I have church in the morning. Other than church, I don't really have any plans for tomorrow. I'll probably watch some football, um, but maybe start reading? I don't know. The cat left a note in here. Oops. But one and a half books completed in two days is pretty good. So feeling confident. So that's all for tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So it's 8 37 so I've got a tiny bit of time before I have to go to church. But I've read about like two pages of Murder on the Orient Express. I'm just gonna watch some booktube until Becky picks me up to go to church and yeah. So it's like quarter to noon right now and I have read a little bit more of, I almost said it and then there were none, um, Murder on the Orient Express and I'm on page 37 right now so not very far at all yet so I've got quite a ways to go. But anyways, I'm going to go make lunch and then watch football because Sunday is football day. So, I don't know how much more reading I'm going to get done, but I'll keep it around. And if I happen to read some more, cool. Yay, Greg Jennings. Can I just say that whoever thought of mm -hmm. these, like, oops, whoever thought of these in the mug, like, mixes, are amazing. I had a chocolate cake one last night and I have a confetti cake one right now and there's a blueberry muffin kind that is also amazing. If you are ever looking for something quick and easy, find the like, they're just like little boxes of mixes and you just add water and you put it in the microwave and it makes this really amazing thing. So it's delicious and the best. Hi guys, so I think we're gonna end this vlog here. It is like only 6.30 at night, but I'm not going to be doing anything else. Just like watching some YouTube and then watching the Sunday night football game and then going to bed because I have school tomorrow. So, all I did today was I went to church, then I watched football, and I managed to do my dishes, do my laundry, and vacuum. So, go me for being productive. But I didn't read a whole ton. So that's okay. I read quite a bit this weekend, so I'll do a quick wrap up here, recap what I read, and then we can end the vlog. So I read about 200 to 50 pages of Muse of Nightmares and finished this. So amazing. Can't believe I finished it. Like, blew my mind. Loved every second of this book. And then I read basically all of Transfer Rain by Trisha Downing. Wasn't my favorite. Oh, I also filmed a spoiler-free review for this. So hopefully that will be coming soon or it's already out. I will link it if it's already out. Um, like I said, didn't love it, but I finished it. And then I read 37 pages of Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. So I'm not very far yet. Um, we're still like meeting people and figuring out who is who in general. Um, nobody's died yet, so not for, not very far. But, I mean, reading one and a half books, basically, and then 37 pages of this, like, that's a pretty good reading weekend, I would say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want me to do more weekend reading vlogs, just let me know down below, um, and I can try and do that. And I think that's all I have. So... 
Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!